Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on direct and inverse proportionality. So in this video we'll cover the two concepts using algebra. So if we've got two quantities, let's say they're y and x, and these are both directly proportional to one another, then we can express this relationship like this. Uh, so this symbol is the Greek letter alpha, and it reads, so this uh, expression reads as y is directly proportional to x. So this alpha symbol means is directly proportional to. But what we can do is we can replace this alpha symbol uh, to set up an equation. So we can say that y equals kx. Now, why are we doing this? Uh, well, uh, this value k is known as the constant of proportionality. So if you're given two values for y and x, you can work out the value of k. And then using the value of k, you can work out the value of y for any value of x. You can work out the value of x for any value of y. Uh, so if we have a look at some examples, so this is if y is proportional to x. What about if uh, y is proportional to x squared? Well, you can write this as y equals k x squared. Uh, another example, if we had y is directly proportional to the square root of x, uh, you could write this as y equals k root x. Or if you like, you put y equals k x to the half. So that's the case for direct proportionality. What about inverse proportionality now? Uh, so this time uh, we write the expression as y is proportional to one over x. So let's just remind ourselves in inverse proportionality, if we have two quantities y and x, which are inversely proportional to one another, then as y increases, then x will decrease at the same rate. So if you double y, x will half. Uh, so going back to this expression then, uh, if y is directly proportional to one over x, we can write this as y equals k over x. Uh, so that's the case uh, for y being proportional to 1 over x. What about if we have y is proportional to 1 over x squared? Uh, well, then we can write that as y equals k over x squared. And if we have y is proportional to 1 over root x, we'll write that as y equals k over root x. So it's quite simple, really. Uh, but like I say, if you're given two values for y and x, you can work out the value of k and then you can use the value of k to work out the value of y for any value of x and vice versa. So if you want to get some practice with some harder direct and inverse proportion questions, then why not have a go at our online exam? Uh, it's available through our revision platform and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you get instant feedback on each and every one. So this will allow you to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and show you where you can improve. So if you're interested, then click the link below, it will take you straight there.